Good afternoon and welcome to another SAP Business One Anycom session. Today we're going to look at updating the item master data. Now, first of all, you'll need to log into the data transfer workbench. You do this by using your SAP Business One user code and password. Now, you'll most likely find that this software is installed on your SQL slash SAP Business One server. Once you've logged in, you'll need to select the import option, which will bring you to the screen that you're currently viewing. We can then select this option so we don't see this in the future. We can select next. Now we're updating um, our items, so we're selecting master data. However, you could be using this for setup, or you could be using it for transactional data as well, and then you would need to select one of the corresponding options. We select next. Now we're going to be updating existing data, so we will select update. Now we could add new data, or we can do an add and an update at the same time. Then select next. Now we're doing inventory, so we expand our inventory and we select item master data. We then select next. We now need to uh, select the file that we've created. Now if you watch the session on templates, you will learn more about creating the templates as well. So I'll select that file, I'll then select next. Now on step five, this is the mapping rule, so you can see where the source data and the target fields are. You can have a look at the source data. Uh, you can also have a look at the target data and drill down. So in this example, you'll see that we're updating the item name, the foreign name, and we're also updating property number one. We then select next. Now, this brings us to step six, where we can cancel the import and perform a rollback when one or more errors occur. So as an example, if you're updating a thousand records and say item 998 fails, it will actually roll back. So none of the previous records that have updated successfully will update. You can ignore all errors, or you can ignore up to X amount number of errors. There's also an option now, run simulation. By running this, you'll actually see that it's a uh, test run, and it still brings up the log file and everything, so you can see what has occurred. If there are any errors, you'll be able to open up the error file. So it closes, we'll select next. And we're now going to select import, because we want to update these particular records. You can see that this has run successfully. I select finish. And it brings up the detailed log as well. Once again, please have a look at the session in relation to creating templates for the data transfer workbook. And thank you very much for your time today.